I got a little bit of quiet here. Everybody's looking in here. We're gonna, what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna go ahead and have something to eat and socialize a little while. Uh, right around 7.30, I thought, once everybody uh, got a chance to get a bite, uh, then we'd have some honored guests uh, say a few words on Denny's behalf and uh, have a little fun with it and then uh, let Denny get up and uh, say a few words. So please, we've got pop and we've got water over in the coolers over there by the food. We've got wings and meatballs and other finger food over there. Whoops. He's much too young. He's still my baby brother. That's what I'd like to tell him. I remember the days when he piled up leaves on the sidewalk and caught him on fire and rode his tricycle through it. Although he denies doing that. Andy? I wish him nothing but happiness and He's a good guy. The best there is. Enjoy the grandchildren and have fun. Hi, I'm Mark Roche and uh, I've known Denny for oh, about uh, 25 years. And the uh, thing I always uh, want to say about Denny is you can't find really anybody that can ever say anything bad about Denny. He's always been uh, in, in my corner whenever I've needed him and he's a true friend of, of anyone. And uh, if you don't meet Denny Mosier, in your life, you've really missed a good chunk of life. So I'm really proud of Denny. I wish him well in retirement. He's a good old Flyer fan, and he's uh, just a great human being. So that's my impression of Denny. Denny in general. There's a lot I like. I mean, I like the gardening, going out the, the campfires and stuff out of the house. Those are fun. Yeah. Ooga booga. <laughs> it wasn't as easy about, as everybody thought it was. Because we didn't get away with not doing our homework. He did with my grades was quite comical. I had all A's and uh, he came up with, I think, some mathematical formula and made me have all F's. Uh, all my assignments, then uh, mom and dad, and of course grandma freaked out, had me freaking out, and yeah. And he had, I knew, I knew he would do that. He said he would, he warned me, but I never thought he would actually do it. He did, and yeah, it frustrated me, but it was a good joke. I, I appreciate that. His Uncle Danny's humor is something that I, I've grown up to enjoy. Well, actually, what I used to do is because I had him after lunch, so I was always kind of tired. Even though he probably knew I was right-handed, if he was on the right side of the classroom, I would pretend to be left-handed so I could just wiggle my hand around every now and then and act like I was taking notes. I was not the best student. And, uh, you know, first I was thinking, what can I possibly say to make fun of somebody who's kind and gentle and sweet and wonderful as Mr. Mosier? And, Right after that thought left my head, a million other thoughts flew into my head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm not, honestly, I mean, I'm very uh, privileged and honored to be able to say that I had you as a teacher, of course. And um, it's very neat to be able to share that experience with my mom, who also was in the schools when you were there, you know, and um, also my grandfather. <laughs> 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 And my great grandmother on my father's side. <laughs> and in my family vault, I think there's a piece of old parchment. <laughs> Once we had to decipher and translate it, I think it showed, said something there about Dennis Mosher being the greatest teacher of all time. <laughs> Keep me like, this is falling out of here. But um, we always have the best stories to tell us, too. Um, a lot of stories from college, when he was in high school, things like that. But a lot of people don't know he was in a fraternity when he was in college. And um, there's lots of, if you can read about them, and uh, like the book actually, that was one of the best sellers of all time. Um, he always talked about, uh, you know, a lot of his uh, college buddies, John, Peter, Paul, Judas, 
I'm gonna crack a bunch of guys. Remember their Chuck the President was always doing funny things like walking on water and you know, water in the water. It was an old joke. Have you had any deep experience of being uh, not only a son who uh, got to learn from, but also sitting inside some tears and, and you know, learn about the geometry of the human problem? I'll do my best. Before I do that, however, um, since I have the form right now, there are a few misconceptions I'd like to clear up. Uh, growing up, especially once we got to high school, everyone always said, Aaron, it must be easy having a positive or math teacher. As if they exempted us from the notes, from the homework, from the test. No! I always have to do all the notes, do all the homework, do all the tests. Uh, my sisters here tonight had also a thought for me. Uh, we had a special time at night after dinner for about 45 minutes to an hour. We like to call each year your academic assist. And for those of you who are in the school system, you're your academic assist. And you know, that, poor, that poor boy, he must be doing bad. Well, other than probably the senior year, so I'm glad you're not here. Other than probably the senior year, you could be sitting in his class in the front row in the first seat, take all his notes, finish the homework thing. With the time that he gave you after class, and you still have to for 45 minutes to an hour, and not only give him, give him the answers to your homework, but the CEO is what you said, Aaron, it was your work. And if I had any choice words to share with him about what I, how I felt about that, it was always simply, Aaron, you better work. So. <laughs> <laughs>